Hi, I'm Lindsay, sports psychologist at The Sporting Mindset. This session's Sporting Mindset workout is imagery. Seeing is believing and doing. Now, if you're wondering why I'm stood next to a horse, this is my old boy, Ernie, and we've been competing in dressage recently and found that imagery has been really beneficial for us in our training and in our competition. So I thought I'd share some of my top tips with you today. So imagery is a simple mental skills technique which allows us to create and recreate um, experiences in our minds. And research shows that when we create an image really vividly in our minds, our brain interprets it as if we would actually experienced it. This is what makes imagery so powerful. It means that we can practice our sports skills and particular strategies and techniques without actually being you know, on the back of our horse or in the pool or on the pitch. This is really useful if there's a period of time where we can't compete, perhaps due to illness or to injury or just simple lack of time. So as athletes, we spend a lot of our time going over it in our minds, our mistakes, things that we did wrong, um, our failings. I'm sure many of you can think of times where you've come back from a competition and you've just gone over and over in your head all the things that went wrong. So what's really key is that you uh, learn to control those images that you have and you're able then to use them to optimize your performance. So there are four top tips that, excuse me, Annie, <laughs> that I wanted to share with you today, which will really help you um, to be able to control those images in your mind and use them a lot more effectively. Number one top tip is relaxation. Something that old Ernie over here is very good at and we can all learn a thing or two from. It's, there you go, an example of deep breathing. So you want to make sure that you take a few deep breaths so that you've cleared your mind and your muscles are feeling nice and relaxed so you can really see those images clearly. So it can be helpful to take a few deep breaths. So breathing in, through your nose, and out through your mouth. Number two is vividness. So vividness, you want to think of like a high definition television. You want to really picture those images really clearly. So a way that um, I find is really useful for getting that real vividness is to think about all of the senses and try and recreate that image in my mind. So I'll feel what the reins feel like in my hand. I smell what I imagine the horse smells like. A bit weird, I know, but I'm horsey, so bear with me on this. I listen, so what do I hear? You know, I hear the sound of his hooves on the floor. What do I see? I see the letters in the arena. This creates that really vivid image. Controllability. So now that we're in a nice relaxed state and we're recreating really vivid images in our mind, it's really important to ensure that we control these. We control what we're thinking and what we're seeing. Remember, our minds and bodies are connected. So our bodies can only do what our minds tell them to do. Therefore, we need to control this. So for example, if I get to a difficult part in my dressage test and I see myself performing this move incorrectly, then my body remembers that muscle movement pattern and then it commits this to memory and increases the likelihood of me then making the same mistake twice. Something, yes, I know, I've done. So you need to ensure that you're imagining it right in your head. So I'll go over and over that particular movement until I see myself performing it correctly because this increases the chances of me performing it correctly in the test. Number four is self-awareness. So this is becoming self-aware and understanding the thoughts and the feelings that might be impacting on our performance and our enjoyment. So for example, if I'm imagining my dressage test, I get to that particular part that I find difficult. What I found myself doing was I'd be holding my breath and as I held my breath, I became more anxious, the negative thoughts started to creep in. So this gave me a lot of insight into what I actually did when I was on my horse doing my test. So you want to really recreate those senses and feel what you feel and go over and over and over them until you have that sense of awareness and you have that sense of control back. So surprise, surprise, once I had gone over that particular point in my test, I'd taken some deep breaths and I'd become nice and relaxed. I felt a lot more confident. And then when I got back out on Ernie and we then practiced that movement, he performed it brilliantly. Okay, so those are my top four tips. So ensure relaxation, vividness, controllability, and self-awareness. If you have any questions, then please get in touch with me. You can tweet me at Sporting Mindset or leave any comments on YouTube. Thank you very much, bye.